Hey, what's going on? How you on? doing? I'm Mike. This is Robbie. You guys talked to Danielle? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Hey. Hi, Mike. Yeah, nice to good meet, to meet you. you. Hey, man. Hey, hey Robbie. Fire. Good to see you, man. Yeah. Go. What we got here? My name is Brad Hunt. This is my brother, Bruce Hunt, and uh, we're from Cottageville, West Virginia. Well, originally, this was my grandfather's general merchantile. It was also United States Post Office as well, part of the store. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's, I like there's all this shelving that's in here. Like, that's still the original. That's, that's old stain original. on it. This has been painted, obviously. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's old original. When you look at these general stores, the way they were laid out, the way they were customized, the way they were merchandised, they're pretty brilliant because the length of the counter, the height of the counter, when you look at all the shelving on the walls and the spacing of the shelving, how high the shelving is, I mean, they were done brilliantly and beautifully. And really, you know, retail is a living, breathing thing. So when somebody walked in there, they had to have everything from A to Z, everything from galoshes to cat food, okay? What would that section of the store be? All that, the best of my memory was uh, clothing and household goods and, yeah. and things right. like that. All the toilet gear. paper and like uh, medicines. See, there's old medicines up there on the shelf too. They've been there oh, probably for yeah. 80 years. Old medicine bottle, triple S tonic and all this crazy <laughs> stuff. This, this place literally was sold everything. It was in here if you just knew where the hell to look. Right, yeah. You know, it was yeah. just stuffed in corners everywhere. Right. And these are like Adidas knockoffs. I, ha I think I had these when I was a kid. Adidas? No, Ditos. <laughs> yeah, Ditos. My mom was a single mom, raised three kids on her own. We couldn't afford the name brands. We didn't have the Converse, we had the Reverse. We didn't have the Adidas, we had the Ditos. We didn't have the Nikes, we had the Nikes. I mean, we, 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 were, we were pretty low buck. Our brand for our family was the off brand. So we got Reverse and Adidas. Yeah, Adidas. But these are made in the USA. Right, right. Pair. What do you got? Little, Little ones. baby ones? Yeah. All right, so yeah. it looks like you got a big stack here. Baby vintage shoes. Whoa. These would be what, like early 80s, late 70s, mm -hmm. maybe you're thinking? Yeah. Yep. The type of customer that's gonna wanna wear this stuff never lived in this era, but they want a level of authenticity. They wanna wear vintage. You know, they want something with a story. If you look at music videos from the 80s, the aesthetic, the style, the hip hop fashion, the urban wear, these shoes fit into that. I'm imagining whoever's gonna wear these is gonna be kicking it to the Beastie Boys. How many pairs of shoes are there, Robbie? We could go through um, each pair. I'm looking through all these. Uh, nice. I got one, two, that's nice. cool. red, white, and blue, yeah, all American. Three. That's your call. 15 pairs here. 15 pairs of shoes, they're all yeah. pretty tiny. They're fashionable, but not in a mainstream way. And I'm freaking out every box we open up because they're dead stock, they're new old stock, they've never been worn before. But the problem is, man, the size of shoes. I mean, there's not a lot of decent sizes here, but that is not deterring me from still wanting them. What would you feel comfortable selling 15 pairs of shoes? Make me an offer. Oh my God, I don't know. They sold all the good sizes. Right. There's just the little baby sizes left. I'm three bucks a pair. 45. All right. The whole butt. All right. Look at that shirt. Freaking 1970s. Yeah, is that Bowling shirt. Bowling. Oh, yeah. That feels Probably good. What else you got in there? We Jeez. dealt with a dry goods wholesaler down in Huntington, and Mom would take us down there. She would buy for the store, but she would also buy our school clothes at the same time. You were the test dummy. Yeah, yeah, we were the yeah test you actually dummies. got to drive, you got to bring right, the good right. stuff. Well, that's on. cool because when somebody walked in here, you worked here, right? Right. So oh, when yeah. somebody walked in, you were head to toe. You're like, okay, oh, I wear like, these. oh, I like that shirt. And that's like, that's right yeah, over that's here. That's right here. Yeah. It's like a day to day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.